I'm going to show you how the world was deceived to believe that the current Bible could contain only 66 books. As children, we counted the number of books from the Bible from the table of contents. If you are an adult and you believe that there are only 66 books in your current Bible, you're still counting the number of books from the table of contents. That means you're still in Sunday school. That's a bad idea. To do the proper count, you must step into the Bible itself and begin to study the text like your life depends on it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Trick Theology. Bible writers read and referenced each other's work, and their references were written in specific formats. For example, a writer may say that for further details on a specific subject, read another author, and so they go ahead and name this author. So let's read a few examples and see what lessons we can pick up. The writer of the book of Chronicles referenced the work of Samuel. The following is how the reference reads. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Samuel the seer, and in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the book of God the seer. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 29. This writer read the work of three Bible writers. He then recommends that his readers read the three other books for a fuller coverage of the life and the reign of King David. But did you realize that one of the books that this chronicler recommends here is the book of Samuel? Now, if you are just a little confused, it is because your copy of the Bible contains two books of Samuel, not one. Do you realize that? But the man who read this book in the ancient times when the work of Samuel was still fresh saw only one book of Samuel. Somebody split the book to create the setting effects and I'm about to give you more. So the writer of the book of Kings also referred to the book of Chronicles. The following is how the reference was captured. And the rest of the acts of Salum and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This is 2 Kings 15 verse 15. So this writer is referring to the conspiracy business of Salum, and he is recommending that his readers go on to read the book of chronicles for a fuller coverage. So that the book of chronicles is also named inside the Bible itself, which means that ancient people read that book so that we are very sure that there was only one book of Chronicles, not two. Somebody split that book to create a certain effect. Just consider another example. The Chronicler also referenced another book, the Book of Kings. In your Bible, you have two books of Kings, one and two. The Chronicler read the same book in the ancient times when the book was still fresh, and the following was his reference. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. I can go on and show you many examples, but I guess you know where the trend is going. The people who read Bible books in the ancient times read single books. Now that feature is still present in the Bible. The lifetime work of a Bible writer may cover a long scroll or many pieces of scrolls, but it was always considered as one book pertaining to one writer. The collection of books belonging to one author will have the same label, one author, one book. After a little religious conditioning, we are now reading the work of Bible writers in the modern world and suddenly the books are split into two or more halves. Now as children, we counted the number of books in the Bible from the table of contents. If you are an adult and you believe that your current Bible has only 66 books, you're still counting the number of books in your Bible from the table of contents, which means that you're still in Sunday school and that's a bad idea. To do the proper count, you must step into the Bible itself and begin to study the text like your life depends on it, because it really does. And the word study actually means investigate. 
If you step inside the Bible, you're going to discover one big thing. There are literally hundreds of books referenced by persons who wrote the text in your current Bible. That means that those people read books which were written by fellow Israelites. They considered them valid and they are recommending those books for you to read. Do you understand this? Now your religion has thrown away so many of those books, leaving only a ridiculous fraction of about 40 books. It is an insult to the literal culture of ancient Israel, and this is why they have had to split the remaining books to create a psychological sense of higher volume. The Bible is a collection of Israelite writings, which means that if we were to discover a book out there which was written by one of the Israelites, we will have to include it in the present collection. By now you know why you believe there are only 66 books in your current Bible. It is because somebody deliberately split many Bible books so that if you continue to count the number of books in your Bible from the table of contents, you will always arrive at that number. But if you decide that you're going to study the text like your life depends on it, then when you unfold the text, you're going to see the depth of information that is actually captured in the book about how many books could be found in the National Library of Ancient Israel. Let me give you another example just to seal up my argument. The books of Nehemiah and Ezra were one book with one writer. And that writer was called Ezra. Ezra wrote one book, not two. So initially when they split the book, they called them Ezra 1, Ezra 2. Now in your English Bibles, you have it as Nehemiah and Ezra. You are going to wake up one of these days knowing that the copy of the Bible you have in your hands right now contains only 40 books, not 66. The people who are splitting the books in your current Bible to create number 66, they don't run shrines, and they don't operate mosques, they run churches and synagogues. Wake up! I am the righteous conqueror. I wage love. I hit war.